Na kizungumkuti cha kesi za wakenya mashuhuri zilizo tupiliwa mbali kimemkaba kiongozi wa mashtaka ya umma mteule Renson Inganga Mulele akizungumza mbele ya kamati ya haki na sheria iliyompiga msasa Renson alitetea kauli aliyekuwa kiongozi wa mashtaka Nurdin Haj kuwa nyingi ya kesi zilizo tupiliwa mbali zilikuwa na hitilafu ya jinsi ushahidi ulivyokusanywa kadhalika Renson amelalamikia kamati kuhusu bajeti finyu iliyowekwa kwa afisi ya kiongozi wa mashtaka akisema kuwa inalemaza shughuli zake mtazamaji <laughs> Renson Inganga Mulele alifika mbele ya kamati hii ya haki na sheria bungeni kwa shughuli ya kupigwa msasa ili awe watatu kushikilia wadhifa wa kiongozi wa mashtaka ya umma nchini. Katika utangulizi wake, Renson alielezea kamati hii kuwa ana ukwasi wa takriban shilingi milioni tatu wa bunge walionekana kuashiria kuwa ukwasi huu uko chini na unaweza kufungua mwanya kwa wenye rushwa you will prosecute uh, people uh, having stolen billions and billions and trillions and people in Kenya and we know them who are ready to give billions and billions just to be able to uh, uh, you know get acquittal or something like that as a career public servant uh, even before this nomination I've been handling cases where there's a lot of money involved and people with influence but that has never influenced my decision. Kama ilivyotarajiwa na wengi, wana kamati hii walirejelea kesi za wakenya mashuhuri zilizotupiliwa mbali na Nurdin Haji ambaye sasa ndiye mkurugenzi mkuu wa idara ya ujasusi. Nyingi ya kesi hizi kulingana na Nurdin zilikuwa na itilafu ya ushahidi, zingine zikasemekana kuwa na umskumo wa kisiasa. What are you going to do? to cushion your office from that political uh, interference instigation and whatever else is likely to be so that we politicians including myself do not use your office to settle scores the issue of political interference i don't think that will happen in matenyo because i am guided by the by the constitution and the rule of law when handling any matter for any citizen It does not matter whether it's a politician it's a normal mwananchi we just guided by the law Kiongozi huyu wa mashtaka mteule alitakiwa kueleza ni vipi atabadili sura ya ofisi yake kuhusu visa vya ufisadi Plea bargaining has been seen as a conduit where uh, prosecutors conspire with accused persons to the detriment of victims of crime What is your office going to do to remove that perception or to streamline this entire concept of plea bargaining. I will revamp the monitoring and evaluation unit. That is the unit that goes round to see what prosecutors and other members of staff are doing and uh, clearly deter or check if there are any excesses that can be dealt with before they go uh, to the public. Kumekuwa na lalama kuwa kesi nyingi zinakwama na kuchukua muda mrefu. Laoma hii ikilimbikiziwa afisi ya mkuu wa mashtaka Renson anasema hili lilaletwa na bajeti finyu waliopewa ODPP has been allocated 3.5 billion while the people we are supposed to match that is the judiciary have a budget of 21 billion with that you can see we can never you will always blame us for not being in court not because there's no prosecutor not because we don't want there are no prosecutors we have station where one prosecutor is manning three courts you can't you can't even deliver akiufunga ukurasa huu renson anashikilia kuwa iwapo atapatikana na kisa cha ufisadi naye pia sheria imshughulikie even the chief justice in this country who is the head of the judiciary if she has an issue we know the procedure of following so there is no one who is immune and in, in any one position renson inganga mulele Amesalia tu na hatua moja kabla ya kuchukua wadhifa wake mpya kama kiongozi wa mashtaka ya umma. Hatua hii itafanikishwa tu pale ambapo bunge la kitaifa litajadili ripoti yake ya ufaafu. Sydney Chazima NTV Nairobi. Na mshukrani sana Sydney kwa taarifa hiyo mtazamaji tunaenda mapumziko.